What is holding you back from scheduling your colonoscopy? Fear, confusion, or maybe just not knowing enough about it. In today's video, we will explain what exactly a colonoscopy is, why it is recommended, and how this procedure could actually save your life. I'm Dr. Sethi, gastroenterologist. If you are over 45 or experiencing GI symptoms, it is time to think about your health, specifically your colon health. Have you ever wondered what happens during a colonoscopy and why it is so important? By the end of this video, you will understand why it is necessary, how to prepare for it, and what happens during the procedure. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Why do so many people avoid colonoscopies? It is a procedure that can feel intimidating and uncomfortable just by thinking about it. But what happens if you skip it? Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in the US, but if detected early, it is one of the most treatable forms of cancer. However, too many people put off screenings because of fear or uncertainty. So let's demystify the process so you can feel empowered to take action and protect your health. Let's take a quick look at the numbers. According to the American Cancer Society, about 1 in 24 men and 1 in 26 women will develop colorectal cancer in their lifetime. But here is the good news. Getting screened regularly can reduce the risk of colon cancer. Regular colonoscopies catch issues early when they are easier to treat and may even prevent the development of cancer altogether by removing polyps before they become cancerous. So, what exactly is a colonoscopy? A colonoscopy is a diagnostic procedure that allows a doctor to examine the inside of your colon or rectum using a colonoscope, a thin, flexible tube with a light and camera. This process allows physicians to screen for colorectal cancer even if you are not experiencing any symptoms. Colorectal cancer is cancer that starts in your colon or rectum, both of which make up your large bowel. It often starts as a polyp, that is a tissue growth on the inner lining of your colon or rectum. Most polyps are not cancer, but some types can become cancer over time. A colonoscopy can do more than detecting polyps. It helps detect problems like cancers, ulcers, or inflammation in the colon, which could indicate a serious condition like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. If something abnormal is found, the doctor can even remove it right then and there or take a biopsy. Outside of being over the age of 45, what are some reasons someone might have a colonoscopy? Your doctor may encourage you to start screening before you're 45 years old if you have certain risk factors that increase your chance of colorectal cancer, such as a family history of colorectal cancer or advanced polyps, certain genetic changes that increase your risk of colorectal cancer, certain medical conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease and primary sclerosing cholangitis. If you have been experiencing unexplained changes in your bowel habits, abdominal pain or blood in your stools, these are all valid reasons to get a colonoscopy. You may be wondering, how do I prepare for a colonoscopy? Well, the preparation is key to ensuring the procedure goes smoothly. Most of the prep involves cleaning out your colon so the doctor can see clearly during the procedure. Typically, you'll be asked to follow a clear liquid diet for 24 to 72 hours before the procedure. You will also take a prescribed laxative the night before to flush your system. I know it does not sound like fun, but it is a crucial part of the process. And remember, this step makes the procedure as accurate as possible. The procedure itself usually lasts between 15 minutes and an hour. And while you'll be sedated, you may feel a little bloating or cramping afterwards from the air used to inflate the colon. Don't worry, it is normal and temporary. After the procedure, you will have some time to relax as the sedation wears off. Your doctor will examine the images from the colonoscope to look for any abnormalities. Here is where things get crucial. Early detection of conditions like colorectal cancer or polyps can literally save your life. The beauty of a colonoscopy is that it can find these issues before they become bigger problems. And if something is found, the doctor can act immediately. For example, polyps are often removed during the colonoscopy itself, preventing them from ever becoming cancerous. 
Colonoscopies are not the only way for a physician to screen a patient. While some people may need colonoscopies, which by the way are considered to be the gold standard, others might need a two-step testing with one of the following tests. Fecal immunochemical test, that is FIT test. This is a fecal kit to collect a sample of your stool in your own home. You return the stool sample to your doctor or send it directly to a medical lab for testing. The lab checks for tiny amounts of blood in the stool that may be a sign of cancer. A lab may use other stool-based tests such as the multi-target stool DNA test instead of FIT to check for biomarkers of cancer. Flexible sigmoidoscopy. A doctor inserts a scope into your rectum and the lower end of your colon to check for signs of cancer. This form of screening requires less preparation than a colonoscopy. CT colonography. An imaging technologist uses a CT scan to create pictures of the inside of your colon, which a doctor examines for signs of cancer. Colon capsule endoscopy. You swallow a small capsule with a wireless camera inside to take pictures of the inside of your GI tract, which doctor examines for signs of cancer. If one of these tests is positive for signs of colorectal cancer or polyps, your doctor will order a colonoscopy as a second step in this two-step testing. The American College of Gastroenterology recommends that people 45 and up or those at higher risk for colorectal cancer be screened with a fecal immunochemical test every year or a colonoscopy every 10 years. It is recommended to screen at regular intervals until age 75 years if you have an average risk of colorectal cancer. To sum it all up, a colonoscopy is simple but incredibly important procedure that can detect issues like cancer, polyps, and other digestive problems early on when treatment is most effective. If you are over 45 or have risk factors like a family history of colorectal cancer, chronic digestive issues, or previous polyps, talk to your doctor about when to schedule your colonoscopy. The benefits far outweigh the discomfort or inconvenience of the procedure. And for those of you who have already had one, remember, Follow-up screenings are just as important for catching any changes that may arise over time. So if you're due for a colonoscopy, don't put it off any longer. Talk to your healthcare provider about scheduling one today. And for everyone else, remember that staying informed is key to your health. Like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who may need a little nudge to get that screening scheduled. Feel free to drop your questions in the comments and let's keep the conversation going about how to protect our health because as always, knowledge is power.